Whenever something unforeseen and terrible happens, I used to book an express ticket to Bloomsville and didn't usually fly back for a couple of days. Now, allowing ourselves to sort through our feelings and disappointments is absolutely necessary, but there's still a way to find the silver lining in any bad situation. I get that it can seem a little bit impossible when you're still reeling from being kicked in the face by life, but by holding on to the knowledge that there's some positivity in any situation, you're able to get back on your feet much easier. You remember that you're in control, and this helps you stand up for another round, rather than letting life win the entire match. So, how do you find positivity when bad things happen? It's simple, really. The trick is to look past the situation, and to acknowledge how it can still bring you rewards and opportunities. Sometimes we become really stubborn when we're emotional, and won't want to look for the good and instead hone on to the adversity even when it's bad for us. But there is opportunity even in our lowest points, and we'll talk about how you can find it. Here are four ways to find positivity in any negative situation. Number one, remember that it's a chance to reevaluate. When something really scary happens in your life, like losing your job, or falling into a tight spot with your bank account, or parting ways with a significant other. It can seem like nothing positive can come out of it. But you're missing one crucial thing. This is your chance to reevaluate a lot of different things in your life. Juliana Bryan, a PhD from Psychology Today, wrote, Sometimes a crisis can jolt you into reevaluating your life in a major way. It can force you to ask yourself if you're really doing what makes you happy and spending your time in the way that you want to, or with the people you want to spend it with. This can be your shot to change career tracks, to focus on your personal growth, rather than lending to another's desires for you, or to practice breaking away from materialistic tendencies. Here's a real chance to restructure your life and get it back onto a track that you can be proud of. Number two, it reminds you to be grateful. Let's look at a couple of examples of some negative scenarios and the positive things we can potentially get out of it. The negative, did you break up with your significant other? Positive, you probably parted ways for a reason, and while it might suck now, you might find that this was the right decision in hindsight. I get that this will sound cliche here, but time heals all wounds. You can now start to think of what new free time you have and the kind of independence that this decision can bring you. Negative, did you lose a job? Positive, perhaps staying in your own company may have been detrimental in the long term. Was the team right for you? Were you happy in your role? If the answer is yes in both cases, then did you see yourself working in the company for good? Maybe now you can use this time to chase a career that would make you excited to go to work every morning. Negative, did you get a really big bill from your shopping spree last month. Positive. At least now you know the importance of having savings for moments just like this. Perhaps this can be the beginning of better finance management. Rather than letting the bad situations tear you down, look for the spots you can be grateful for. Gregory L. Yance, PhD at Psychology Today, suggested that one of the quickest ways to shift your focus away from negativity, judgment, and disappointment is to list the things in your life for which you are grateful. I get that this is a lot easier said than done, but the objective events in our lives are all subject to the way that we perceive them. What can we lose from seeing our situation from the lens of gratitude? Number three, it makes you more compassionate. Talk about walking in someone else's shoes, right? Whereas before you might have thought that someone losing their job was totally on them and their lazy couch potato ways, now you know that all sorts of bad things happen to people who in no way deserve them. While it sucks to experience something that shakes your stability, the silver lining is that it helps you to grow into a more compassionate person because, well, now you've experienced it too. 
you'll be less likely to make quick judgments, which is important in building long-lasting relationships. And we can feel glad for this opportunity, even if it comes with a little bit of a difficult situation. Brines explains that now, you're more likely to recognize that everyone is vulnerable, and that bad things happen to good people all the time. Someone else's suffering no longer represents a threat, but rather can be a source of connection and kinship. Let's take the worst case. Even if no good can come from your situation, like in the event of the passing of a loved one, for example, then at least you know that you will grow emotionally. Number four, it teaches you to understand different perspectives. There's no way you'll be able to see the silver lining in a bad situation if the conversation you have in your head is negative. If you find yourself constantly reaching for the words that best describe how bad everything is, it's time to retrain your brain. Teach yourself to use positive language and to search for the opportunities instead of the pity parties. Lifestyle writer Emma Watson from Lifehack wrote, Do you constantly question your actions? Believe me, I've been there. Nobody needs to call me stupid because I can do that just fine myself. Retrain your brain to stop doing that to yourself. Take on a forgiving, we can do this voice instead and you'll feel the dark cloud over your head slowly dissipate. We hope that you found this video useful. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to stay up to date on our newest videos. We really appreciate your support. Also, follow us on our social media and visit our website at thetopessentials.com to learn more about how you can live your best life. See you soon.